Greetings everyone, Joe here, and I wanted to uh, demonstrate in this video how simple it is to install uh, Infinite WP uh, plugin that manages all the Word, our WordPress sites. And this is one of our sites we've yet to put on, which I'm going to do right now. And it's really simple. Uh, we're, we're at the dashboard here, and now we can go to, uh, this is like when I log in, of course. And this is the dashboard. And then if I go down here to plugins, I'll go ahead to install it. And we'll go here to, uh, um, let's see here, add new. And then I'm going to put in IWP to search for the keyword. And there it is. And I'm going to go install now. And now to activate it. And when I activate it, we can see that it's going to give me a bunch of code. Uh, it's simple to plug into Infinite WP. Here it is. And I'll go copy the details. So I go and click to copy the details, and it says copy. And then I'll take these details and go over to W uh, Infinite uh, WordPress, Infinite WP. And I'll go in here, and the first thing, these, those were a list of the sites we have in it. So the first thing I want to do is add a, word, add a website. And now I'm just going to uh, uh, paste it into the place and add the site. Believe it or not, folks, that's all there is to it. It's adding the site, and there it is. And now it, it now shows the online outlet shopping center now shows in my uh, stuff here and look at how great this plugin is here here's the regular uh, control panel when one logs in and it tells you what sites need to be updated and as i can see it's accurate it's got five of them here for this uh, particular website and others and also when you're checking out the websites you could look at the um you can check out here you can see that the uh Plugins, it'll show you which ones are to be updated, etc. Update all, and it's so simple. So basically, one after you add your site to it, you just log in here, and you're able to, and you're able to manage all your sites just by clicking update all, and it'll update all of these sites. There is, uh, it's almost stupid proof to copy and paste it after installing the plugin. It's that simple, and then you just click update all, and it updates all the sites. This one site here, easy start do it yourself website design.com, is red because I haven't added the code into it yet. I haven't added the plugin to the website. So now what's left to do is to I'm gonna update all these sites in one shot. It's just click update all, yes, go ahead, and it'll tell us it's putting them in queue here, uh, processing the queue. And right now we're not seeing it exactly how it appears because I had to I switched the screen down for this video. But as we can see, these are all the sites we got here. And look at how cool this is. You can go and view the site, write a new post, open the admin, back up now, edit site. All kinds of information, even server info is here. And look at this, beautiful, huh? Add links, add notes. It's just great stuff. It doesn't get much better than that. And it's still doing update all. And if I want to check the process of that, I'll just go up here and go reload data. And as we can see in real time, it's going to check the 10 sites that I have registered within. Of course, this one in red here is not going to work. But And here we go. Uh, as we can see, there's only one plug-in left. It had done it already. I'm sure it's still working on it in the background, The uh, my WordPress site. But that's about it, and we're all set. So thank you for joining me. And this is how great this software is. And, and anyone managing more than one WordPress site uh, this is a great solution for them. And those that are on the paid ones, well, you know, it's a paid service and you may want to consider dropping it and getting something like this going. Thank you and have a great day.